back to the show, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing another entry into my sketchbook project. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be using only um, probably like very light pencil and mostly uh, markers. I'm going to see how this goes. I have no idea how that's going to turn out, but I'm hoping I'm hoping it's going to turn out well. Um, and I want to try something else a, a little bit different. I want to talk a little bit more about how I use markers and um, how I how I how I how I do my best. Uh, so um, I hope you uh, you stay tuned and enjoy the video. Um, Going to be kind of a, a quick intro today, but um, I'm wrapping up this uh, project. I've only got like five or six more uh, sketches to do in here, and then that'll be it. Um, so. So I've got to look real intense while I draw these and make them count. I feel like I look more intimidating with my hair slicked back. I don't mean to, it just, it gets it out of my face. I just took a shower. That's why it smells so nice, a little bit like coconut. It's because I just took a shower. Uh, anyway, and also I kind of do that, that thing that like, you know, they do in the movies where it's like, oops, a piece of hair accidentally fell in front of my face. Now I'm like, 8% more attractive, like, oops. In reality, it's just super annoying when you're trying to, like, read something and my eyes don't do so good anymore in the dark and I'm like, uh, and then my hair just, like, bonk. Anyway, the painting <laughs> is gonna be based off of a song called uh, Toxic Angel. Uh, it is by one of my favorite artists. He's an incredible lyricist and musician, uh, Joseph Arthur. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the painting, the video, and, uh, I will see you at the end to talk about, um, what I did. And hopefully, it's good. Alright, so, uh, welcome back to, uh, another episode of this, uh, sketchbook project. So, I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the process that I'm doing here. I'm just laying down a real uh, gestural idea of what uh, the character is going to, to look like and then going back and tightening up the, uh, the details. I already have more or less an idea of the color palette that I want to use. Um, she's going to be uh, kind of a golden color. The background's got to be a little more, uh, a little darker, maybe more purple or, or violet to kind of make her pop out a little bit more. Some darker colors to to really bring out the foreground. So this is the first time that I've ever gone through and uh, only used marker right over my pencils. Um, and it's it's turning out all right. I thought it was gonna be a little trickier to do this. I was able to apply some of the, the stuff that I know of when it comes to like gouache and, and watercolor, oil and acrylic, you know, doing all that stuff. It, it does pay off to have that kind of experience under your belt. This is obviously a little bit different. It's a little more permanent. The, uh, the process here is always to go from light color to dark color. I'm using Winsor Newton and Ohuhu, and later on I'll use some Prismacolor. I only have a grayscale Prismacolor, but I'll use that for the wings later. But you're always going to want to put your lightest color first because you can't really go back. You can't, you can't uh, make a dark spot lighter. Uh, unless you have a lot of alcohol or a whiteout pen, which I will use a whiteout pen a little bit later. But for now, uh, I'm just uh, starting to sculpt away the uh, the shape of the character. I did not notice a huge difference in the quality between Winsor Newton, Ohuhu, and uh, Prismacolor, other than the Ohuhu is a little less uh, consistent with how much ink you're getting out of it at, at once. Uh, with the uh, Windsor Newton, it's always a lot of ink, and uh, I kind of paid for it. A little bit in the background, you can kind of see um, where it, it just sort of bled a little bit too much in that sunset. Now, otherwise, it, everything I think uh, turned out fine. It, another thing is, if, if you notice the uh, where I use the Ohuhu and the uh, top background, the uh, purple, like the, the l slightly lighter purple area. That became a little bit grainy, and I think that's because I, I used too much alcohol in that area. It sort of ate away at the pigment a little bit. Um, 
but uh, yeah, otherwise it turned out fine. Uh, I was pretty happy with the way the wings kind of came out. They look a little bit weird, a little bit gross. Um, kind of the idea. Uh, so this painting is based off of a song called Toxic Angel, like I, I mentioned earlier. So the song is about two unstable people trying to be there for each other, and um, it, it's being kind of... And it's, it's just kind of a messy situation. But... Uh, the the feel of the song is it just it feels very haunting and it. it's it's beautiful to listen to toxic angel is is the way i guess he refers to uh someone who is just very unstable and uh struggles with unresolved emotional and mental issues it's very hard to love somebody like that and it's very hard to be loved when you're somebody like that and so i i thought a, uh, the best representation I could do for this song of, of what I felt was uh, an angel with uh, with burnt wings, implying some uh, some trauma has uh, has grounded her or, or changed her from the uh, divinity that she used to know, but she still possesses some some majesty, in spite of the uh, the drama that festers and becomes trauma. Um, I think we're capable of uh, retaining some of our divinity and some of our initial innocence. I don't think it's inherently easy because we have our varying dispositions, but it's something worth fighting for, is the the wonder that we're born with. So, back to the painting, I, uh, I kind of finished it off uh, getting really dark with the wings, kind of, I wanted to make them black, burned. Uh, her skin came out a little more golden than I had it in intended, but uh, I think it works okay for, for this this painting. Uh, so in conclusion, markers are a lot of fun. Markers are a lot of fun to use. Um, you just gotta be a little careful with them. They're very permanent, and uh, they're, uh, they're a little tricky to get the hang of initially. But uh, I would highly recommend getting, uh, getting yourself a set, even if it's a real small set. Uh, you really just need a few shades of your, your basic uh, primary color is yellow, red, and blue, and, and you'll be you'll be fine. This paper isn't really conducive to, uh, <laughs> to like, watercolors or anything like that, but I am very surprised at how well it took the, uh, the ink. Um, except for, like I said, a few areas where it, it, I guess it bled into each other. The, uh, the ink was still a little too wet, and, uh, I, the, I get real juicy markers sometimes out of, out of, uh, Windsor Newton, so it's, it's a little hard to uh, to control that, but I uh, I get lucky sometimes, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't impossible to manage. But anyway, uh, thanks for thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you back in the studio. So uh, we got that figured out. All of the markers, outstanding. I'm happy with it actually. I, I was surprised. So I've never actually done a drawing where it's not there's no pen in it and it's just pencil straight to marker. Um, I tried doing a little bit of um, uh, you know painting technique that that I I'm used to with. Uh, like watercolor or, or gouache or something like that. It doesn't quite work the same way, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have that experience either. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, she came out more or less how I how I had imagined. Um, what do you guys think though? Uh, let me know what you uh, think of the the painting. Let me know if you guys liked it. Uh, if you want to see more. Uh, stuff like this you can check out my Facebook page. I've got more uh, uh, Paintings and drawings and stuff on there. I it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to clean up all of this stuff uh, I've never used all of the uh, The markers that I have Prismacolor uh, Oh hoo hoo and uh, Windsor Newton <laughs> Windsor Newton um, All at the same time uh, they actually worked pretty well together um I, I ran into a couple of issues with bleeding, uh, as far as, like, the stuff kind of blending together. I didn't realize that a lot of alcohol was coming out of these markers whenever I would use them, so it would just sort of, sort of like, pooled in the, in certain areas, and then if I applied wet, 
uh, alcohol next to it, it just sort of uh, bled into that area. Uh, that was really the only problem I, I ran into. Um, another thing is, like, the uh, the uh, colors would become a little less uh, saturated uh, after a while. If they sat there for a little while, the, uh, the colors would kind of fade out a little bit. And uh, some of the uh, Ohuhu stuff became a little grainy if you, if you just kind of let it sit there for a little while. But... I don't know if I was able really to achieve that effect that I really wanted where the uh, there's like little embers kind of still burning away at the wings. Um, but I tried. It's not a terrible effect what I what I ended up with. So um, yeah. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I will see you on Friday for Fandom Racers. Uh, if not, I'll see you on Monday. Um, either way, I'll see you guys in the next video until that day. Oops. I think depending on the size of hair that falls on your face, that, that changes how attractive. Like, that's the percentage. It depends on how much face it covers. That's probably what it is. Girls get away with it. I feel like guys should, should be able to get away with it, too. Bye.